Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use Monday.com for students. I believe project management should help you being more effective. Simplify things so you're going to remember everything and you are not going to get lost. So let me just start and let me just show you what is the best way. So first thing first, click add here or when you're going to have your workspace in Monday.com and click here, choose from templates. Here, what you can find is education under startup. Click on that. And here you have option to choose like Greek life extras, student clubs, academic requirements, academic requirements tracker, student organization tool, and also managing student life. So I really think that managing student life is uh, the best one, but of course you can choose between whichever you want. So let's say I'm going to click manage student life and what we can find here, finance tracking, right? Then also uh, the class schedule and uh, like history here. So let me just show you and let's see how it, it's going to work out for us and what you can achieve with it. Let's click it there together and then you can like optimize it for yourself. It's finishing. And here we are. So it's already creating the managing standard life and you see all the boards here. So what we can find here, class schedule, class assignments, then we can find also personal finances. Then we can have the weekly planner here. Class schedule, you can also give feedback here, you can delete that and class assignments. So when you're going to click on a class schedule, let's start there. What we can find here, we can have uh, like a class schedule, fall semester, spring semester. Let's say here I can add a math and you would add like, okay, what I need to like add here. Then you can have like classmates here. If you can have classmates, you can add there here. And then day of the week, let's say it's going to be Friday. And let me just add all your, uh, what you're going to have, the classes. And I can add a time here. And let's say this is going to be from PM to 2 PM, it's 12 PM, whatever. Then you can add a room here that we created. Credits, notes, and also you can have the fun grade here and you can add a professor. So what you can do also, if you're gonna click like, let's say a math here, I can add a files and I can upload files. So if you're gonna get files from the email uh, from your teacher, you just like add it here and then you like update here. I need to prepare something, right? Update. Here, I got also recommendation that you can create subtasks. As, as you can see, we got the sub items here for the history and you can have it also for the math. So let's say you're going to have something um, like, let's say there's going to be an exam and you can easily create it in math uh, as a sub item and you would find it right there. In that regard, it's like really effective. So this is how pretty much it, you can use this class schedule and I really like it. Now the next one are class assignments. So we see that, okay, we can have for this week, uh, what I need to fulfill. So let's say this is going to be write a paper for math. Priority, let's say this is going to be low and status. Now, what is my recommendation guys? And you can have the course here, like which course it is and I can create a new label here. So you can like add here uh, or you can also change the status and priority and you can edit the labels. That's really effective too. Now I can simply click plus here, add a view and I recommend like adding even a Kanban view here. And look at this here I got, uh, let's say I'm going to like remove due dates and then I see uh, like the class assignments here and Kanban column, you can choose between status, uh, between priority. So you see it here that, okay, um, what, uh, like 
okay, the stack working on it done, waiting for review empty. But what you can do is like edit on your status in your settings, add there also priority. So you'd see that needs to be done. And you can have it also in Kanban view if you want. So that's like up to you. So that's something you can do. And then you got also the due date here. And you can like add here what you're gonna have like for the next week and this week and done. The next thing is personal finances. And this is also really simple and really effective how we can do that in a January, you can add uh, for what you're actually spending money. Then you get month by month, you get some really good analytics here. Spending, necessary spending, mobile phone, where did you spend money? How much did you spend? This is a really great way because like if I'm going to share the form, you can always fill it up and you don't have to up, the, up like applemonday.com, you will just like fill this. And this is like unnecessary spending. And let's say this is going to be February and I would add um, whatever. And now I will go like $50 type, what kind of type it was. And I can have a pet, rent, mortgage, health, groceries, and necessity if it's mandatory, high, medium, low impulse. And you can have like received here. So, oh, no. So that's how it works. Then you can also necessary spending, and you got all what you need here in personal finances uh, for your student project management. Then when you have that, you can have also the weekly planner here. So uh, this is something like what you want to plan uh, and what you want to fulfill and what you want to get good at, right? So work on monthly bu uh, budget, uh, go exercise um, in Monday, in Tuesday. So let's say I can write exercise in Monday or yoga in Monday date I can well let's say this is going to be eight tight estimate is going to be one hour priority low status working on it so let's say this is something that I want to do then you get also class schedule words in version two that when you would like to come here is also really similar but this is something you can use to uh, which suits you the best for you All, again day of the week monday tuesday uh tuesday wednesday wednesday then of course you can give a feedback here and then you're gonna see the class assignments and you see right here that mm, you can have the main table so you see the okay this is the version two you can have and again we see the task we see the class the priority the status due date timeline time estimate papers grade so finance knows they have to do rise of inflation I can write here right and I would have a classmate then I can change the priority then I can have a status here working on it and when it's going to due date time estimate like it's a two hours then we have the papers exam like you really need to you learn how you can manage the files here and then great let's say it's going to be 88 so that's pretty much it how you can do it and this is how you can create and manage project management for students now, if you can have any questions regards uh, Monday.com and what you can do with it, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. You know how it goes. Now, of course, uh, like you really can really like manage it as much as you want, right? So if I'm going to, let's say I'm going to delete this one here. Also this one. And I can add, I can add a choose from template for education and you have the managing student life you can have also the student organization tools right even planning board 
venues then organization essentials right so you can choose which one you want which one suits you the best and this is pretty much it and this is how you can use the monday.com for students so thank you very much have a great day guys and goodbye see ya